Music exists in the ear of the beholder. People have been able to find sounds in the mundane, in the extreme, and everything in between. How we make, play, and listen to music differs greatly. There is so much more out there than what we might initially expect. So we're looking back and exploring the sounds and the people behind them to get a renewed sense of what music sounds like. We get that we're kind of weird, it's a little bit of a wacky idea. We play a wide variety of typewriters. A lot of what we do in building up songs is really exploring what different sounds we can get out of the typewriter and how we can incorporate them into a song. We've discovered that this makes some legitimate music and it can be a real serious endeavor and it's really is something to sit down and listen to. One, two, three, four. To watch a theremin being played looks really strange. <laughs> It's controlled without any physical contact. It's such a new instrument still that there's nobody who's going to stand there and say, you're not doing it the way it's supposed to be done. I don't think there's anything else like it. A normal instrument, you're, you're playing it and you're expecting it to have a sound that is pleasing. But with an instrument like this, the goal is to just produce sounds that, in this case, are disturbing. We're dealing with things that stir primal emotions and feelings. It's not music in the traditional sense at all. But let me put it this way. The apprehension engine definitely evokes an emotion. So I would call it music. To play the great stalag pipe organ is quite a different sensation because it's like you are becoming one with the instrument in a very true way. You just sit and go, yes. It's something incredibly different and wonderfully beautiful. Tongue Throat singing is a very uh, Asian and traditional way of singing. You press your throat and you, you generate one uh, sound, but then you generate an overtune on the top of it within your mouth. It sounds like two sounds at the same time. People think it's something really cool because they never heard about this kind of thing before. You know, oh, Mongolian rock, they think it's something very unique. Me and Pops, we be boxed anywhere, all day. Don't even make a difference. No, it, it really don't. We be boxed while cooking, barbershop. This is just jam session, just us having fun. This, this is how I bond with my child. She created her own style when it comes to beatboxing. Everyone has to create or put their personal stamp on hip hop. And that's also what hip hop means. It means a freedom of expression. <laughs>